Hi friends. Hi, it's Miss Tony here again. Welcome back to Remote Learning. As you know, even though schools are closed, learning is still open. So welcome back. Um, and for you that aren't in Miss Tony's class, um, I welcome you. Um, I feel like more the merrier. So if you're joining us, welcome um, and I just want to say a, a big hi again to all my friends out there I miss you guys um, I have something very exciting today I have something fun um, so in a few moments we're gonna get started um, I just wanted to give you um, maybe a little bit of um, maybe a a little teaser of what we're going to be talking about, right? So, Miss Tony has a surprise. So, I wanted to show you something before we get started with our lesson today. And that is how And that is how something like this You hear that? And I open up the package. Right, how something like this, so tiny, so small, right, seeds can actually turn into this. Ta da! Right? Say, wow, that sounds pretty cool. So, hopefully, I got your interest because we're going to talk about that today. But first, I have something to say. I'm going to take out my pod book. Now, not everyone at home has a pod book, but basically it's just another form of communication, just like some of you guys um, will have in your speech packets, um, little picture symbols, um, picture supports. Um, they're all very similar to what is in here. Um, we're trying to keep with um, consistency and familiar of core functional words. Um, so Ms. Tony's going to show you what our pod book looks like. So if you have one at home, you can take it out and use it during this lesson or any of the other lessons that we have um, for remote learning. And again, if you don't have the book, um, we have other um, great symbols that are prov provided in your speech packet. Okay. So, um, pod is just another form of aided language um, with um, picture supports and symbols. Um, like I said, you can find that in your speech packets at home. Um, this also builds a lot of um, familiarity. It carries over the same core words that we're all working on, so it's really important. So, Ms. Tony is going to use it to start our lesson. I'm going to initiate by saying, I have something to say. I have more to say. I'm telling you something. I'm telling you something. Please get my communicator. Okay. So, so for example, this is 
one example of a communicator. This is a communication book. Now, if you don't have your communication book, um, not everyone has one yet, and, and that's completely fine. Um, I want you to use your total communication. So um, what does total communication mean? Total communication means anything and everything, okay? So I want, it, I want you to try um, to the best of your ability um, during this lesson. Um, show us ways that you um, are communicating, whether you're enjoying it, whether you're not. Um, however that might be. But most importantly, you have to turn on your listening ears, okay? So listening ears on, right, and our imagination, okay? So, Miss Tony's gonna get started. I have something to say. I have more to say. I want, I want to do an activity. Book story. I want to do an activity. I want a book story. All right, good job, guys. Nice following along. So, Miss Tony has an exciting story. I'll let you guys look at it. It's titled, The Tiny Seed by Eric Carl. All right, let's get started. It is autumn. A strong wind is blowing. It blows flower seeds high in the air and carries them far across the land. One of the seeds is tiny, smaller than any of the others. Will it be able to keep up with the others? And where are they all going? One of the seeds flies higher than the others. Up, 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 it goes. It flies too high, and the sun's hot rays burn it up. But the tiny seed sails on with the others. Another seed lands on a tall and icy mountain. The ice never melts and the seed cannot grow. The rest of the seeds fly on, but the tiny seed does not go as fast as the others. Now they fly over the ocean. One seed falls into the water and drowns. The others sail on with the wind, but the tiny seed does not go as high as the others.
one seed drifts down onto the desert. It is hot and dry, and the seed cannot grow. Now the tiny seed is flying very low, but the wind pushes it on with the others. Finally, the wind stops and the seeds fall gently down on the ground. A bird comes by and eats one seed. The tiny seed is not eaten. It is so small that the bird doesn't see it. Now it is winter. After their long trip, the seeds settle down. They look just as if they are going to sleep in the earth. Snow falls and covers them like a soft white blanket. A hungry mouse that also lives in the ground eats a seed for his lunch. But the tiny seed lies very still and the mouse does not see it. Now it is spring. After a few months, the snow has melted. It is really spring. Birds fly by, the sun shines, rain falls, the seeds grow so round and full, they start to burst open a little. Now they are not seeds anymore, they are plants. First, they send roots down into the earth, then their little stems and leaves begin to grow up towards the sun and air. There is another plant that grows much faster than the new little plants. It is a big, fat weed. And it takes all the sunlight and the rain away from one of the small new plants. And unfortunately, that little plant dies. The tiny seed hasn't begun to grow yet. It will be too late. Hurry, hurry. But finally, it starts to grow into a plant. The warm weather also brings the children out to play. They too have been waiting for the sun and springtime. One child doesn't see the plants as he runs along. And, oh no, he breaks one. Now it can't grow anymore. The tiny plant that grew from the tiny seed is growing really fast, but its neighbor grows even faster. Before the tiny plant has three leaves, the other plant has seven. And look, a bud. And now, even a flower. But what is happening? First, there are footsteps. Then a shadow looms over them. Then a hand reaches down and breaks off the flower.
A boy has picked the flower to give to a friend. It is summer. Now the tiny plant from the tiny seed is all alone. It grows on and on. It doesn't stop. The sun shines on it and the rain waters it. It has many leaves. It grows taller and taller. It is taller than the people. It is taller than the trees. It is taller than the houses. And now a flower grows on it. People come far and near to look at this flower. It is the tallest flower they have ever seen. It is a giant flower. All summer long, the birds and bees and butterflies come visiting. They have never seen such a big and beautiful flower. Now it is autumn again. The days grow shorter, the nights grow cooler, and the wind carries yellow and red leaves past the flower. Some petals drop from the giant flower and they sail along with the bright leaves over the land and down to the ground. The wind blows harder. The flower has lost almost all of its petals. It sways and bends away from the wind. But the wind grows stronger and shakes the flower. Once more, the wind shakes the flower. And this time, the flower seed pod opens. Out come many tiny seeds that quickly sail far away on the wind. The end, right, our story stopped, right? That means our story, our book is done, finished, right? We are all done, done, finished with our story. But wait, Miss Tony has more to say, right? I have more to say. So I want us to think back, right? Let's think back, right? When I first started the video, what did I say? I said, I want to show you, right? We want to know how little seeds how little seeds can grow and grow into little plants.
and then even into bigger plants. Right? Look at all the leaves now on the plant. And sometimes, right, some of those seeds even grow into flowers. Right? That's pretty cool, right? So how does this happen? Right, if we go back to our story, remember it talks about the life cycle from a seed all the way up to a plant or flower. So what are some important things, right, that we can tie into the story, right, tie into our science lesson now, right, that the tiny seed, right, that little seed, what does it need to grow? Right? We learned that it needs lots of sun, sunlight, it needs rain. Right, and remember, we can plenty hear the rain with our rain stick. Right, lots of rain. Right, we have rain like water. And of course, something else that we're gonna talk about at a later time, right, like photosynthesis, which I know is a big word. But all of those things together help grow seeds into plants and flowers. Pretty cool, right? So, um, Miss Tony, just wanted to say, I hope you enjoyed our story. But remember, it wasn't even just a story. It was actually a lesson we learned today, right? Which is pretty cool, especially because um, Earth Day is just around the corner. And we're celebrating Earth and how we can take care of Mother Earth. Um, so I definitely want to encourage you guys as maybe some extension activities if you want. If you can and you're able to, you can go outside for a little, get some fresh air, some sunlight. Um, maybe at home if you're able to in your backyards. Maybe you might help your parents or your caregivers maybe plant some seeds or flowers. You can help with gardening or maybe even watering the grass. Um, and other ways if you want to help um, protect earth, um, maybe you even want to make some bird feeders uh, to feed the birds. Um, so those are just some extension activities um, based off of our lesson today. So um, I hope you guys had fun. Miss Tony loves nature. I love going outside. Um, I, I think it's a great way to explore nature by using all of your senses, right? And I think there is just, um, there's something really cool about when you go outside, right? You get to explore um, the world around you because it's, it's such a beautiful place, um, even though I know that we're, we're stuck home right now. But, um, until then, I'm going to say bye, guys. Bye, friends. See you later.